And I started praying for people. And I remember, and I heard him praying when I prayed. And I'd never forget it because he'd start to pray. And whenever he finished, he'd say, he'd be praying. He'd, and a lot of times he'd take you by the hand or he'd put his hand on your head and you, or on your shoulder. And you'd say, all right. He said, no, don't do nothing. Don't do, just, just receive. You know? And actually, this is where I got, I say this all the time. People, invariably, you'll start praying for them and they'll start praying. And he'd start praying and they'd start praying. And he'd open his eyes and look at him. He goes, he'd just tap him. I said, like, stop that. Stop it. And they're praying. They're kind of like, what? He's like, I'm praying. You just receive. And they look at you, you know, and, and he was standing there. He'd go, all right. And he'd start praying again. And then and invariably, out of habit, they'd start praying. And he'd just tap him. I told you, stop it. Don't do it. Your praying hadn't helped you so far. Let me do it. <laughs> and, I, and I heard it. I'm like, that makes so much sense, you know? And, and then he would start to pray. And he would pray, Father, I thank you that your blessing is upon their life. And I thank you now that your entire full will will be fulfilled in their life. And I don't mean maybe. In Jesus' name. And I heard that because I would stand right next to him when he was praying and listen to him. And I started catching myself saying that. All right, here's what we're going to do. All right, you be healed right now, and I don't mean maybe. And I'm like, yeah, I, I, I don't mean maybe. I mean be healed, you know? And, 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 it, and it catches you, you know, it catches you. And, but there's, there's this aspect of walking with a person. It, you know, he, he had quirks. He had things that if somebody saw it and, you know, they might say, well, that's a weird thing or he does this weird thing or that weird thing or he says this and you know if, if he were alive today and God bless him, he's, he's still the greatest man of God I've ever known and, but if he were alive today and we talked about healing I would very politely disagree with him on some points, not everything, but a couple of points and, but I would disagree with him and, because I have Bible to back it up but I wouldn't do it you know, well, you're wrong. You, do, you don't know what you're talking about. You know, I'm not even going to listen to you anymore because you, you're wrong on this point. No, I wouldn't be that way. I would, I would listen to him. I'd say, I'd actually ask him a doctor, you know, I'd ask him a question, Dr. Summer, you know, you said this, and I'm wondering how that fits with this verse, right? I wouldn't say he was wrong. I'd say, how do, how do, you, how do you, you know, get that to work with this verse? How does that figure out? And I'm sure if he were alive and I know his heart, I'm sure he'd look at it, and if he saw the truth there, he'd go, hmm. 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 Well, I don't know. But I will soon. And he'd walk off and he'd go pray and he'd come back later and I'm sure he'd just turn around and go, that thing you showed me. Yeah, that's right. And he'd never say anything about it again. He'd just go right on. 